off. And joining the table today, the great, the one, the I, only, I, Michael Pinball Clemens. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to welcome you. you and yes. also remind people that you are the general manager of the Grey Cup champions, Toronto Argonauts. Yes, thank, you. thank you, thank you. Congratulations. So proud of the guys, yes. Um, so, so we're going to get into that in just a second, okay. which is, I think, why so conveniently our first topic, I think, is right down your alley. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm proud of I know probably a lot of us are still reeling from Canada's loss at the men's FIFA oh. World Cup. Yeah, and Michael, why I say this is down your alley, want to get your take on the, you know, the fighting words heard around the world because ahead of that pivotal match against Croatia, our head coach, John Herdman, he told the team that they belong and that the next step was, quote, to go F Croatia. <laughs> A lot of people were saying that that was really disrespectful, mm. but other people were saying, well, no, that's what he says to just motivate the team to get out there and win. So which one is it, Michael? Mm. I would love to tell you that our coaches never swear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, with all my heart, I would love to tell you that, but but that that is yeah. not a reality, right? And, and, and so for him to say that in the huddle, right, mm -hmm. uh, it is something that is well not uncommon, cut, not uncommon yeah, right? Okay. But um, but but when you repeat that, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. on your own of of your own volition. Right. And, you know, it, it get, then it's bigger than a team. Right. It's not a team versus team anymore. Right. Now, when you when you say that of a whole nation, you're, you're yeah, it, that that part yeah. is not I, I, I don't think that part. And, and and I and I do like Coach Herdman, but mm -hmm. but but um, we all make mistakes. Do you think Coach Herdman's that I love that. Yeah. Do you think his mistake was essentially just telling the press that they said it? Absolutely. Because like in the like he couldn't on the fly, he was asked, what did you say? And he couldn't on the fly sort of come up, oh, we held hands and we said how much we respect everyone and we respect the game. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he couldn't come up with that. And he just said, oh, this is what I told them. Like if he just kept it to himself. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> oh. But listen, in the heat of the moment, I think what we're learning is that uh, even the World Cup is supposed to just be about sports. Mm -hmm. We all know that on the other hand, the opposite is happening. The sport is galvanizing the world, but it's also putting us all firmly under our country's flags. And so we actually, in some weird way, are actually more divided than ever. Imagine that Team USA coach goes out there and says, Coach, what did you say to Team USA? And he yeah. says, you know, F Iran. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. It'll be a disaster. Yes. If he said F Iran, yes. you are, that's tantamount to instigating a war. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. this is the war. You can't take sports out of the context of world politics. Mm -hmm. And even though I do not think that Herdman's um, uh, intention was to diss an entire country of Croatia. Mm -hmm. My neighbors are Croatian. They're amazing. Hi, Len and Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> what I do think was we realized that there is still very real world politics within the world of sports. And at that moment, I think he just didn't But realize. the world of sport yeah. is supposed to sort of be separated from that world it's supposed context. supposed to be. Yeah. Right? And I think that's important to keep it that way. But when you sense. say F an entire country... But he didn't say F an entire country. I know, he but that's the way they can spin it. This is the thing yeah. about media and what it's we spin. do I'm gonna I'm gonna own it this is what we do sometimes we take those clips and then we spin it and it turns into something else and now everybody's upset because he thinks he was they think that he was talking about this country which we know he wasn't he was obviously trying to fire up his team let's be real coaches are motivational speakers especially at that level these players know what they're doing so what you're trying to get them to do is lock in see themselves as winning this match and whatever you got to say to get them <laughs> pumped up yeah. and if it's a f such and such I understood what I, I think we all understood as sports fans exactly what he meant but it, you're right it's the you don't repeat those things to the media because that's not the place to have that conversation and what happened is it backfired because as we all know if you want to get me fired up let me hear someone talk some trash about me yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. right and, and in the post game in the post game uh, interviews both the coach and one of the players for Croatia said listen we want to thank Herdman yeah <laughs> because he got us fired up to win that match. And the coach said, uh, the Croatian coach also said, listen, he's a great coach, yeah. but he needs to grow up because this is not what you do. You do not Oof. go to the, you do not sit in front of a microphone and say F another country. If you get, can't guarantee the win. 
Well, I don't think we'd be talking about this if they had won yesterday, or we wouldn't be talking about it with the same tone. Like, that's the thing, you gotta be able to back up your trash talk. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's, like, and, yeah. and it's not that, uh, listen, I hear you what you're saying about the political ramifications and doing it against an entire country, but like, essentially what if his intent was saying to EFG, that team, not the country, but that team, yeah. right? Like, so I think that, you know, when you're saying rhetoric like that and firing up your team, yeah. you better be sure to guarantee the intended result. I, yeah. I think still, you, you, there's a little point that you cross when you say that in the media, yeah. right? When it comes out, there's still a little bit of, and that, yeah, there's a- Even, even when you trash talk yeah, in the media? Yeah, well, well to that point, when you, when you use that word yes. with a country, right? Sure. Yeah. That, that, yeah. That's, that's still a challenge, right? So, yeah. and I, I agree with everything you're saying yeah. and the in-house thing. It needs to stay in the huddle. If it comes yes. out of the huddle, that's the way the it's that's communicated the needs yeah. to be softer. It needs to be softer than it was stated. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Those two words in combination. But can we say things like, we're going to beat them. We're going to whip them up and down the field. We what, are going to thinking, why kick can't, their butts. Why we are can't going, we say can we that? Say that? Because listen, that's the biggest upset in FIFA history was Saudi Arabia beating Argentina. So I understood where he was coming from, like, let's get it out of your head. We know Croatia's good, but Argentina's good, and they got beat by Saudi Arabia. So let's go in with a winning mindset and not think of ourselves as, oh, we're going up against Croatia. We but can't win. Almost it's like, like no, a David versus Goliath yeah, kind of thing. It's like, like there's been so yeah, many we, upsets. No one might think that we're going to win, but we are. But yeah, there, there are can. times when we celebrate <laughs> trash talking, when we celebrate someone declaring a win and a promise when they can back it up. We do it with our sports heroes all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, and, can and, I pause for a second? Right? Someone who knows Grey Cup winning from the inside out on our panel, conveniently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, from a player's perspective, though, mm -hmm. when you were a player, what was it that the thing the coach had to say to you to just run you up and you're like, you're gonna get out there and just slay? Are you well, dropping well, F-bombs coming? The, the, rea <laughs> yeah. the, the reality is, is for a great number of us, um, it doesn't take words. Right, oh. and, and uh, however, there are certain coaches, Don Matthews, who who were, was able to to hit that switch, and he was able to say the words. And so, I, I've got, I've got, uh, I agree with what yes. you're saying, with the exception of the words, the two Those words, two words that, yes. that, that, that go together, yeah. right? Um, and you're right, we do celebrate people who have a little bit of that arrogance, yeah. and, and uh, but we also have seen it so many times that that's bulletin board material. Mm -hmm. that oh, the other yeah. team puts it on the bulletin board and they strive and they focus on it and, they, and, and it actually uh, brings more out of the other mm -hmm. team than it does your own. We don't want to give them ammo, no. which no. unfortunately right. unless, I think you're, yes. unless you are Michael Jordan or like, you know, one of the most famous quotes in sports is a trash talk where you name the person or he named the person, mm -hmm. told the media what he was gonna do to that person. And then he did it. And then did it. And that yeah. quote is, a float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, his hands can't hit what his eyes can't see. Now you see me, now you don't. George thinks he will, but I know he won't. And what he was talking yes, about, yes, yes. you know who that was, it was yes. Muhammad Ali. He told the media, he promised, George Foreman is not gonna see me. I'm gonna float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, and I, he won't see me. And what did he do? Like, George Foreman had those ding, ding, ding bells ringing around his head because he didn't see him. So you need to follow through with your trash talk if you're gonna trash talk, yes. is yes. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yeah. And what we Ma both Muhammad, Al Muhammad Ali wasn't re referencing his family or his country no, or no. anything yeah. like yeah. That. that. And that, that really yeah. is the distinct difference. That's for yeah. sure. Trash yeah. talk, I, yes. I, I don't like it my, to do it myself, but I love a person who trash talks, <laughs> especially yes. if you can back it up. Yes. I love it. If you can you back, can back, back up your stuff. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, listen, we just burned the whole thing. Like, too bad Cynthia wasn't here today. Wow. She was just gone. Yes, yes. She was just gone. Yeah. Hey there. Wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now. Like and subscribe.